Now, um, hopefully one day we will, I kind of want to do another list based video around KSI and assignment, but I feel like I should wait and let's do something easier for one day. Okay, so I did this exactly the same with Crash Bandicoot. As of my top five uh, best Crash Bandicoot games that I like, I'm going to do the same thing now on Spyro. Here's the intro. Five, Spyro 2. Now, I don't like this one as much as other Spyro games, to be honest. Hero's Tale is one of my favourites, but you're going to have to see which one, which number it's going to be at. So, Spyro Hero's Tale 2 was the one after Spyro 1, and this was created by Insomniac Games. Now, they created this, and you were able to play Spyro, they had three more boss battles, and it was improved so much better. Um, the storyline was better, you got introduced some more characters, and we had Sparks there, but it was fine, but I don't know, it was just okay, that's like it. Now, Skylanders Imaginators. Now, I'm including this because it has two characters that I like, two franchises, Spyro and Crash Bandicoot. Now, with this game, it's a storyline based at, with this whole Skylander series, Spyro started it all. And in this, you play as a storyline, Chaos is back and you try and stop him, you basically complete a level, you complete defeat a boss and do the whole same thing until you get to chaos then you throw this brain thing and then yeah you're also able to play as a play as crash panic all dr cortex and i think spiral and cinder for the older characters and there's a wampa island theme level that um that you're able to go in and play as crash and dr cortex recommended and spyro is in that level which is fantastic but um yeah, I like it, but it's not as much as the next couple. Three, Spyro 3. Now, this I like because it's related a bit to A Hero's Tale. In this game, a new storyline, based. Um, this is basically a game after Spyro 2, developed by Insomniac Games, and you're able to play as more characters you are, the levels are better, there's even more bosses, more than actual, like, three. And... And it's easier, but also harder as well. We also get more of an introduction to eggs that you collect. And I quite like this game more than Spyro 2. And it'll be nice to see what graphics it would look like on the PlayStation 4 if that ever was going to happen. I don't like the storyline so much, but I like how you're able to play as Spyro and Cinder. I'm talking about The Legend of Spyro 3. Now, I know many people are going to hate me for this, but please, I played this as well in my childhood around when Crash of the Titans and Mine of Mutant was game release. I don't think the games were that bad. It's just like I knew that it ruined the Crash formula even as a little kid. I understand that, oh, this is not the same. They will try and sort of things out. The only reason why I guess I like this because you were able to play Spire and Cinder. Um, but I know with the two player one, both dragons have got something around their neck so you can't it's hard to play as two player, but as one player, I think I got through some of the levels I did. I had to have a lot of help with some gameplays on YouTube. In fact, I might actually go to this series once again um, and just maybe replay it. Um, but yeah, that's why it goes to number two. Sorry, guys. No honorable mentions, but going into number one, Spyro Hero's Tale. Now, I feel like you all knew this was coming. Because I've bragged about it a couple of times in my other list based videos, and also I'm hopefully going to do some gameplays videos on its productions uh, soon. Um, this is a game that was after some Enter the Dragon Finds and Game Boy uh, games. This was the game that was um, not developed by Insomniac but some other companies and introduced the boss formula of 4, like in Spyro 2. You're able to play some characters as sort of Sergeant Bird makes a return, and I quite like it quite a lot. The music's great, Spyro, the dragon is great, Spyro, Sparks, his voice actor was great. There's some things that are not so great, but there's more things that are great. I like the dark gems, the light gems, and all this 
lovely stuff and I love it to bits. So I hope you enjoyed today's list based video. I feel like when it's night time you know that I actually whisper and I try and speak up um, as much as I can. But yeah, it's basically dark. Hope you enjoyed today's video um, and as of Thursday the 10th, I guess, um, for Thursday the 10th of July, I have not filmed any vlog bits whatsoever at all. I only filmed an intro and then after that, I just didn't feel myself and I didn't feel happy at all. So yeah, hope you enjoyed today's video. We're going to go back to the KSI and Simon stuff on the list based video next time. Anyway, here's some stuff on here and I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay good, Adidas.